Hello. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the setup and configuration of LDAP user authentication for Big IQ. The following configuration applies to Big IQ versions 7.0 and 7.1. My name is Matthew Faber, Solutions Engineer with F5 Networks. Let's get started. Big IQ Centralized Manager supports three methods of LDAP Start TLS, LDAP S, and Disable. Start TLS is the most secure method and offers server certificate validation. LDAPS is typically used for older servers that don't support Start TLS, such as those running LDAP v2. Disabled is the last option and the least secure method. Before integrating Big IQ with your LDAP server for authentication, you must gather six key pieces of information hostname and port of the LDAP server. You'll need the Fully Qualified Domain Name, or FQDN for short. The default port is 389 for Start TLS and 636 for LDAPS. If your LDAP server uses an alternate, non-standard port, you'll need to provide it in the authentication settings. In order for Big IQ to trust the SSL certificate presented by your LDAP server, you must provide a PEM formatted certificate in the authentication provider settings. The root distinguished name from your LDAP server will be used by Big IQ as a starting point in the directory when it searches for users and groups. LDAP users and groups are the last two items you'll need. The users and groups created in your Big IQ configuration will need to map to the remote users and groups on the LDAP server. Let's jump over to the Big IQ user interface and take a look at the configuration. In this example, I'm logging in with the local admin username and password. Once you click sign in, Big IQ will default to the home screen. The authentication settings are located under the system tab. This is where we configure the LDAP server settings for user authentication. Once under the system tab, click authentication providers. As you can see here, I have a number of providers already configured. Select Add to create a new provider. For the provider type, select LDAP. Give a name. This can be a custom name up to 152 characters. Put the host IP address and port. For the SSL setting, select your method, start TLS, LDAP S, or disabled. For this example, I will be using disabled. Enter your bind user DN. Make sure you enter the bind user password. Then enter the user bind template. The search field we're using as default UID username. Next, enter the root distinguish name. The authentication method for this example is, will be simple. The rest of the configuration settings will be left as default. At the bottom of the screen, there's an option to test your configuration. I already have a test user created, so I put the username and password in. Click test. We have a success. So this completes the LDAP server configuration portion of the config for Big IQ. Now you can click Save, Continue, and you can see now we have a, our server LDAP configuration inside the authentication provider settings. If you want to add a user, you click User. As you can see, I have a number of users already created. In order to do this, you click Add. You select the authentication provider that we just created, server LDAP. Type in the username. You will select the user role, the administrator role, or application editor, or a number of other roles. You will then add it to the selected column. Once added to the selected column, you will click Save. And as you can see, we now have a new user with an authentication method of LDAP.
I'm now going to log out as the admin user. I'm going to log in as the user that I've just created. Making sure that you change the authentication provider to so server LDAP. Select log on. Once logged in, you can see that this user, Paula, has a very different screen because she is an application editor only. This concludes the video on how to set up your Big IQ for LDAP user authentication. I hope you enjoyed this how to video and thank you for watching.